Here's the problem. The negative one and a half volt battery connection is not connected to anything and that's because the copper spring is missing. The other side of the battery which is all the way to the left you can see the copper spring is connected and then we've got a fuse to the right of that and then a 9 volt battery. Now I removed the battery and found a spare copper spring and they're using that to hold the 9 volt battery in which is really great but I thought I'd show you another way of fixing this because most of the time you are not going to have a spare connector. I have chosen an alligator clip of the size that I think will work. And here I have cut off the bottom of the alligator clip and have installed it in the Simpson 260. And the idea is that the side where your thumb pushes against the alligator clip will now push against the negative side of the one and a half volt battery as shown here. You can see that the alligator clip has opened. So I soldered the negative wire to the alligator clip and here it is reinstalled with the one and a half volt battery. And this does work quite well. The problem is I can't get the back of the Simpson meter to close because it's too long. So here you can see I cut off the tips of the alligator clip. Okay, the alligator clip is installed and the R times 10,000 actually runs off the 9 volt battery. Here's the 1.5 volt battery. And it adjusts just fine. If this was not a tight enough fit, I would add some solder where the uh, alligator clip and the battery uh, hit. In other words, add a little solder to the alligator clip. And here it is all put back together. Thanks for watching.